Um, now it is time for the news. It is not a great day for wrestling. Um, as we lost the legend, we lost the uh, leaping Lenny Pavo, um, the genius, um, Randy Savage's little brother by any other name. Um, honestly, it just sucks. It seems like every time we get past one death, another one comes into the wrestling world. This one uh, really sucks. No, Scooter? Oh, it, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking as Scooter for this. I'm, I'm speaking as Scott because. I had the great privilege of 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 knowing Lenny Poffo. Uh, you hear a lot about wrestlers, and a lot of them will say, "Oh, well, yeah, I, I, love, I love interacting with the fans." Yeah, you know, especially in this age of social media. Yeah, you know, when they hadn't done it before, Lanny was doing that before social media was even a construct. And Lanny took to social media like a duck to water. And coming from the wrestling background that I do, and, and you know, being friends, and I'm using air quotes here, with a, bu a bunch of them. It is a, is is an awesome feeling, even if you never interact with them through the platform whatsoever. Lanny was different. Yeah, not only was I fortunate enough to be one of his Facebook friends, but not his followers. And and I'm sorry, that's a really petty indistinction here between follower and friend, but. With famous people, it's a matter of who gets there first. Um, but, you know, it's like, oh, this is awesome. It's a genius. It's the poet laureate of the WWF. All right. Lonnie went out of his way to interact with the fans, especially when he didn't have to. And... He will, he will forever, in my mind, be the most personally profound loss in pro wrestling, only because Lanny took the time out of his schedule to send me personal birthday Greetings. Literally. I, I, I've never seen any wrestler do that, uh, you know, for, for for an amount of money, let alone free. And I still, I still have the pictures, but the, all the greetings he had, he sent me uh, included pictures of Randy Savage. Looking very, you know, contemplative, and that ju it just it made it made these birthdays these last five six birthdays just that much more that much more special because. I had the pleasure of knowing him not as, as more than a wrestler, but as a human being. I mean, we we, we and we could we could stand all we could talk all night about his career. Uh, you know, for first, you know, leaping Lane Poffo, uh. Really was um, when he, you know, when he didn't work for uh, 
Yeah, his father. Um, uh, believe it or not, uh, when he started wrestling in 1974, he started before Randy. Um, uh, with all South, the NWA Atlantic Grand Prix, three different promotions in the 70s, uh, and then of course going to work for his father, Andrew Lapafo, in ICW. Uh, he was a staple of Mid South, uh, uh, Continental Wrestling, and then the WWF is leaping line. He throw frisbees, and if you were if you caught one and you were able to get uh, get to him, he would sign it. Wow. No questions asked. Uh, and he, he would usually say, "Two sons of great catch." Love leaping Lenny Papo. Um and of course, most of us probably know him as the genius, the manager of talent like uh, Mr. Perfect, uh, the Beverly Brothers, and I'm, I'm sure there's a couple of others that I'm leaving out. The most interesting statistic about his career, about Lenny's career, is in a time where he, where, where Hulk Hogan had lost one match between Yeah, you know, December nineteen eighty four, and this moment, which is which is November twenty fifth, nineteen eighty nine. Um, he has the distinction of. Of being one of two men who defeated Hulk Hogan on WWF television in the 80s. Which is uh, an incredible feat. Um, I, absolutely. I mean, it, it was by a count out, and uh, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's the, um, it's the segment that that resulted in the at least the belt that would be the inspiration for the WWF Hardcore Championship. Okay. Because that, that was the night they destroyed the belt. Oh, yeah, but, um, Mr. Puffin. Um, and of course, uh, he would, he would make the odd, uh, yeah, not odd appearance, but, uh, Constant appearances um, on independent circuits. He even competed in a couple of house show matches for the WWF in 1994. Oh, wow. Um, there was... Um, here's something a lot of people probably didn't know. Everybody remembers, well, everybody who remembers Randy Savage and Gorgeous George. Uh, well, what if I told you that Gorgeous George was originally intended to be Lanny Papa. Oh. Really? Yep. It was, uh, that's a weird, weird thing, but I, 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 I can't imagine how wrestling would have turned out had that happened. 
Oh man, uh, there's uh, he he's he made a a number of appearances uh, for Ring of Honor uh, in uh, 2018. Uh, accompanying accompanying Jay Lethal when he, Jay Lethal was doing Black Machismo. Uh, That's right. And of course, and of course, um, I believe that was at all uh, all in. Yep. Yep. Uh, and of course, he inducted Randy Savage into the to, uh, WWE Hall of Fame uh, in 2015. Um, other, other than that, he was he, he's got a he had a number of books published. Wrestling with Rhyme. Uh, uh, he actually has, uh, he published a book full of limericks that were anti-smoking. Um, he was, a, he was a constant, uh, player on Tony Little's infomercials. Uh, he was also a certified credit counselor and motivational speaker. Um, and in 2018, uh, he had his, he has his own biographical comic or manga, depending on who you ask, uh, published by Squared Circle Comics, titled The Genius, Lanny Poffo. Uh, and of course, over the last number of years, he did what nearly every, uh, pro wrestling, uh, you know, personality did and started a podcast, the Genius Cast, um, twenty uh, that that one twenty episodes. Uh, Jim Duggan, Terry Funk, uh, Ty Food, Sean Waltman, Jeff Jarrett, uh, Nick Dinsmore, just name a few. Um, and it's it's just I'm. I'm I, I'm 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 gonna miss him as, as we all are. Oh, definitely. Uh, Kalika, you have any uh memories or uh, of uh the genius Lenny Pavo or anything you want to share about him? Man, how are you gonna expect me to follow that? <laughs> you know, I wasn't planning on speaking so much, but it got away from me again. Next time you start with Kaliko. But, I mean, that's that pretty much a calculate. But you know what's funny about that, though, is, like, even though you name all those accolades, he was more concerned about his brother getting the recognition in the Hall of Fame than he was. Yep. And that tells you more about him than anything. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully we'll get a genius induction maybe this year at WrestleMania. Considering nobody is is on the the circuit to be in the Hall of Fame as of right now, um, but that's an old conversation for another time. Um, and of course, um, thoughts and prayers go out to the family, uh, the friends and family of Lenny, um, and our deepest condolences. 